hi guys welcome back so today i'm going to show you how i made this delicious very easy to make and a classic victoria sponge cake let's get started Okay guys, so the foolproof, the failproof uh, Victoria sponge I always make is first of all to measure three eggs in their shell and write down that measurement, then measure out the same am amount of sugar, butter and self-raising flour. Foolproof, this never fail me guys, it's as easy as that okay so i measure the sugar put it in a mixing bowl so i'm using a stand mixture today you can use a hand mixture as well it will still be as good okay but i'm just letting the machine do it things really and make sure your butter is at room temperature everything really the eggs if you keep your eggs in the fridge make sure everything you're using is at room temperature okay so we are going to start beating the sugar and butter until we get a light and fluffy texture this takes about five minutes with my stand mixture it might take a little longer with your the electric hand one okay while the the machine is doing its thing i went ahead and measured the flour again same measurement as the rest of the ingredients i went ahead and prepare my baking tin and i will have the ingredient and the full recipe down in the description below and one more thing guys when you're beating your your sugar or your butter of the stand mixture always remember to to scoop at least once or twice the the bottom of your mixing pan because some dough can stuck there and they will not have the same texture as the one up okay oh my butter is ready nearly ready i went ahead and prepare also my my milk so i'm using one tablespoon of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla incense again everything will be down in the description below beat three eggs look at that nice and fluffy and ready and we are going to start adding in the beating egg in three stages so here we are assuming we are adding one egg at a time and beat it until it well combined so it, after one each stage beat it well until one combined that's our second looking good you guys okay one more time again here before i added my my next egg i scooped them the dough from the bottom again to make sure everything is well combined and my dough was starting to curd so i just added a little bit of flour the flour that i measured before okay adding in now our milk and vanilla mixture and beat that well and that's it and we are going to fold in the flour it's really easy guys this is a foolproof recipe so we are going to add in all the flour and then beat them this on a very medium speed so this means we are just folding the flour into the dough once it will be combined we are just going to give this a one second quick mix just like that after just one second off don't over mix this that's it we are going to scoop this one more time before we, we spread them in the baking tin okay there we have it it's our it, our baking tin and i'm just spreading it to make sure it's well spread in all the tin no waste here scoop that your spatula put that dough back in there <laughs> and at this stage my oven was already preheated at 160 and my oven is a fun oven so if your oven is not a fun oven i believe 160 fun oven is equivalent to 180 normal oven and we are going to bake our cake for about 
19 to 21 minutes my happy place is always 20 minutes so i always check it at 20 minutes oh they are looking beautifully in there we are going to go ahead and open the oven and check the cake and this look like they are ready but to check if they are done just insert the toothpick in the middle of the cake if it come out clear it's ready and we are going to go ahead and place our cake on a wire rack to cool let them cool in there for at least a couple of minutes before we can turn them over okay so remove the cake from the pan and allow them to cook completely before you can do anything with the cake and that's it and then a bonus recipe let's do this homemade strawberry jam so here i have about a hundred gram of st fresh strawberries and we are simply going to remove the leaves and then slice them If you are here this far my lovely don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a new video i post new videos now weekly guys and thank you for subscribing so far it means a lot okay so to make the jam we are simply going to place the sliced strawberry on a pan and then heat this up on a medium heat until it's nice and soft and if your strawberries are not sweet enough or you want just a little bit of sweetness you can add in honey or maple syrup in my case i didn't have maple syrup so i just added in about half a tablespoon of honey We are going to quickly bring this up to a medium boil so i'm cooking this on a very medium heat my stove goes up to nine so i'm cooking this on a five can you see it's starting to bubble it will release it on juice you don't need to add any water in this however i love to add lemon or lime to my homemade jam it's kind of bring out a, a nice take flavor but this is optional and remember, I'm just using this as an extra. You can always use normal jam, okay? When it's nice and soft, mash it up to get that jam-like consistency. And that is it, guys. This was just quick. For In like two minutes, it was done. And I'm going to stop this and then turn off the heat and then allow this to cool completely. okay so our jam and cake is cooling down we're going to go ahead and make some whipped cream so i use some um, double cream and i added in one quarter cup of icing sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla essence we are going to go ahead and beat this you can either use your stand mixture or hand mixture in this case I use the hand mixture um, and beat this until it, it's stiff okay so my whipped cream is ready and this again is another optional stage but i found it easier to put on the cake when i put it in a um, piping bag so i always have some disposable piping bag i put the whipped cream in there and i'm just squeezing it down so that i can um, use this easily really
okay it's assembly time so i just put a little bit of the whipped cream on the serving plate to, so that the cake that i'll put there cannot move it will just stay in place okay so first cake on and then we're going to go ahead and um add our cool jam it has completely cool and spread all of that over that cake i left a little bit for my son he was there <laughs> he wanted to eat some so yeah And when you spread that nicely on your on your first cake we are going to go ahead and now pipe the whipped cream that we made early on top of the jam and this is why I love putting my whipped cream in the piping bag because it's really make it easy to spread it on you just squeeze and spread it on really makes your life easy Okay, once that done, sandwich it with your second cake. And that is it, guys. And then I went ahead and dusted it with some icing sugar just for decoration. This is optional, but oh well. <laughs> Ooh, this cake was so nice and spongy guys and this is a foolproof recipe guys if you decide to try my way let me know in the comment below how it turned out for you or if you make it any other way let us know share your trick and tips with everybody so we can all learn together okay and now we just had dinner it was serving time my boys couldn't wait to eat this cake go ahead and slice it however big you like <laughs> Ooh, and here we have it a perfect Victoria sponge cake very easy like one two three <laughs> Here we have it, my lovely. Look at how soft and fluffy this cake is. So good. And the homemade jam make it not extra sweet. So good. Thank you for watching, guys.